Hi guys and welcome back to the hot seat. I am your host Priscilla Moy and every week we're going to introduce you to some amazing guests and we're just going to jump right into it. She actually is one of the Dream Tracks actresses and models. She came back from New York recently at the IMTA convention and let's hear her story. So everyone please welcome Destiny Black. Hi, Hi, thank you so much you? for coming. Thank Please you. take a seat. Thank you for being here. Thank I know that this is not me. your first time in this studio. It's obviously. not. <laughs> so you guys, she actually is tied to one of our guests that we had last week. We had Cameron yes. on here last week. Yes. And she, we all know Don Sullivan. She is actually the host of Vegas Views. Mm -hmm. And you actually were a guest on there as well. Yes, I was. Yes. And <laughs> Don Sullivan is, you know, tied to Dream Tracks. I'm pretty sure she's an mm -hmm. instructor and all of those things. So you're here. I'm here. Fresh from New York. <laughs> yes. And I want to hear everything. So yeah. I looked on your Instagram page. There's a lot. You know you're an actress. You're a yes. model. At least that's what you're going through Dream Tracks for but then you also have some dancing on there as well yes i do so and you're 22 <laughs> i am you're young and yes. you went to UNLV i'm pretty sure right? i did yes. i did okay. i did <laughs> i found your linkedin <laughs> so basically let, i want to hear everything i want to hear yeah. your school experience mm -hmm. and why you chose what you're doing now and what yeah. your goals are yeah, so it actually, I was a very like rambunctious kid. I always wanted to show someone I was doing if it was dancing, singing, making up stories. Like I always wanted to do that. And my mother was a singer. So like mm. it never like came across as weird to me. So like, of course, I grew up in California, like the Culver City area. So that's mm, where like okay. all this kind of started and brewed up. And then we moved out here to Vegas around like 2012, 2013. And I kind of lost interest in it. Like I was like, oh, it's kind of, you know, like when you grow up, you hit puberty, you don't do the same thing yeah. you did as a kid. And so in high school, I actually went to Cimarron here in Vegas. And I was like, okay, like, what am I going to pick for electives? And I chose theater. Okay. It was like the last one on there. Nothing else was available. I was like, whatever. I'll just sit there and like, just be bored. And then fortunately, it actually grew into something that I ended up loving. I had a teacher there. He was there for a couple years. He had a little favoritism towards some kids. So I didn't get to do much until my senior year. So his, my teacher there, his name is Mr. Curcio, and he put me in everything. He's like, you're so talented. You have to try and do this. I got leads and mostly all the plays. I was like super excited. I was like, oh my gosh, like this is something that I love doing. And I'm like, I don't know why. It just comes easy to me. I was like, I just do it. And like, my mind is empty. Everything goes away. Sometimes people ask like, oh, what's going through your head? I'm like, nothing. <laughs> like absolutely nothing. It's yeah. just, it's crazy. I did go to UNLV for a little bit. I did go for theater. And then I did have like a little rough patch. I actually lost my mom two weeks before I graduated high school. So like my world changed mm -hmm. completely. So I was like, I'm not going to try to go for Juilliard. I'm just going to stay in Vegas, work, 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 live, live, live. And then after a little bit, I moved in with my dad and he was like, I think you should start acting again. I was like, oh, okay. So I was like, oh, whatever. We'll see if I still have it in me. And Eventually, I found Dream Tracks, and I was like, mm -hmm. I love it here. I was like, I'm never leaving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what pulls you in about theater? I mean, because yeah. differently, like, I hear a lot of actors that come here, and they're mm -hmm. all about film. Um, my, me, myself, I went to school. I have a BFA in acting and theater. Yeah. So I understand, like, the difference between what it's 100%. like being a film actor and a theater actor, and if you stay within those, because mm -hmm. they're two completely different Oh, careers, 100%, yeah. There's something that pulls you there. There is. So what was it about theater in general? Was it the lights? Was it just kind of like you on the stage? Yeah. I feel like it was, I was always surrounded by loving people. It's a different mm -hmm. energy. Like I tell this to people yeah. all the time. I'm like, oh, you should do theater. You should do theater. Because like I'm still new to TV and film. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, no, like theater is something that it's really hard to explain. You kind of have to be there to feel what it yeah. is. It's, it's, it's like a different pull. It's like. Almost, you're almost stepping into like a different universe. Yeah. In a way, it's like once you get used to it, like the crowd is not there, the lights are not there. You're just you, but you're not you. You're just there's an adrenaline. It is. Think yeah. Don't understand unless you're a performer. A hundred percent. Yeah. It's it's different. It's totally different from like TV and film. So, yeah. do you want to pursue a life on the stage, or are you trying to mm -hmm. move past that and go into film, or do you feel like your heart's made for the stage? I feel like my heart is definitely made for mm -hmm. theater. Mm -hmm. I think it's something that like I just meant to do. Of course, I do love like TV and film yeah. acting, which I'm in school for now. 
but like after New York, I was so grateful that I got a scholarship to a New York conservatory. Okay. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, instantly, I was like, oh, I'm going to do musical theater. Like, I don't even have to think about it. Yeah. I'm like, well, why won't you do acting in film? I'm like, no, there's something, there's yeah, something else. There's, that, there's, there's something, something there's else. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's something for you. So, you I mean, you look like a really sporty person. So I feel like, <laughs> you know, you have this athleticism mm -hmm. that would be required for musical theater. Right. You know, I've seen all my counterparts and I have a dance minor, so I can yeah. tell how much, you know, stamina you need to have right. to constantly do musicals all the time. A hundred percent. So musical theater is definitely the way you would want to go versus the plays. So you're going to yeah. train in singing, you're going to train yep. in the dance, you're going to train in acting. That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> so tell us about, so IMTA, you know, this is kind mm -hmm. of like a showcase, right? Yes. And you're going to have a bunch of agents out there watching you right. do your book, you do yeah. your, your thing. So how was that experience for you? What did you do? Mm -hmm. What was your performance like? I loved it. Mm -hmm. I was never, I'd never been to New York before that. So like, I was like, like when you get there, like, you know, everyone's like, oh, people yeah. are me in New York. I was like, oh, these are my people. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I love it here. I was like, I don't want to go back home. But I was in, I want to say at least like 13 to 15 different like competitions. Mm -hmm. So I was doing improvisation, cold reads, monologues, modeling, high fashion runway, commercial print, anything and everything essentially under the sun. I didn't go for singing because I am a trained singer. I do take classes okay. here. Yeah. His name is Cody. I freaking love him. But I'm scared. I was like, I hate singing in front of people. I was like, I'm not going to do it. So I didn't do that. But like, it was such a good experience. I was like, I wanted to go to network and connect right. to people and like be in an area and in like a community where we're all going for the same goal. Yeah. And I never felt any sense of like competition. Like, I was like, oh, like, what if they're mean? And I'm like, okay. I'm like, you know, stay to myself. But, like, I didn't feel the need to do that. Like, everyone there was, like, very open arms. And I, I loved it. Yeah. yeah. You have a New York vibe from the oh, hair. You. you know, I, <laughs> right, because I'm from Chicago. So oh, I'm from Midwest. Yeah. And I, I've had a lot of friends that go to New York. Yeah. New York. I, I felt the vibe of that city. Mm -hmm. And it's 100% different oh, from yes. the West Coast. 100%. Like, the people are completely different. The way they attack you know, life and mm -hmm. daily work is completely different than it would be here. Right. So um, I can't wait to see what you do with that because <laughs> I feel you. like you're going to have a big culture change. Yeah, But the good sure. thing is, is that you're young and you're very open-minded. Yeah. Which I feel yes, is huge. Yes. So tell me about your Dream Tracks experience. What was yeah. that like? How long were you in it for? So that way maybe some people that were yeah, in Dream yeah. Tracks, like let's talk about that. So before I went to Dream Tracks, I actually went to another school and it just mm. didn't work out for mm -hmm. me. I felt very condemned and like shameful of my acting I was like I, this place just isn't for me and then right then I was like you know what I'm gonna try dream tracks because I saw dream tracks so I was like oh, I don't know like I had a friend at the other school so I went with that mm. one so I walk in everyone is just so nice and warm and like hi how's it going I was like oh my gosh and like I almost had like a little PTSD from the other school because like we weren't allowed to make friends or like we weren't yeah. allowed to like socialize after class so like I'm Hearing all these people, and I'm like, oh, what? Like, it's okay, it's okay to, like, hang out, like, you know, like, network and stuff. And Frank is, like, the warmest hug, like, anyone can ask for. Like, you know, like, a lot of teachers are, like, they'll, they'll do it for the money. And you oh, can yeah. just tell Frank is right. not like that. He pushes me through my, like, the walls that I hit and, like, the down days. He's like, Destiny, you're not going to have an update every day and you need to be okay with that I'm like you're right you're right and you can tell that he cares about yeah. his students and I was like I freaking love this place I was like I'm never ever going to another acting school here in Vegas I'm dream tracks a hundred percent and I love it there and just it's just such a good place to learn but also a good place to like grow a family like there it, we are a family like sometimes you know like we have our differences, but like we all care for each other. Yeah, it's just something you can't like pay for. Like no amount of money is ever worth like that connection. Right, right. Yeah. And what was your favorite class? Because I know that they kind of train you not yeah. only acting, but you know you learn runway walk, and it's very brief from mm -hmm. what I've you know researched and learned about you know things like the school is like this. Yeah. You know, like it's kind of a really quick catching on, and mm -hmm. then you kind of have to just they throw you out into the wolves. Mm -hmm. So what was your favorite part apart from kind of the morale in the mm -hmm. place? What was the most important thing that you took from that that you're going to carry with you forever? Being able to be okay with the decisions I make as an mm -hmm. actor. Coming from a place where it was more so the teacher's way or the highway, right. I was like, okay, like I guess I understand. And then when I got to Dream Tracks, Frank was like, no, 
you, we do like a breakdown. So like you break down your character, you do like the beginning, middle, end of a sentence, all this other stuff. And it's like, you know what? If this, you want to play this character that way, do it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to stop you. Just be strong in your actions. Be strong in your character. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like that's when I instantly knew. I was like, this man is just like pure gold. Yeah. I was like, he's not forcing me to be someone that he sees the character being. He right. wants it to be my own perspective. And he that's, wants to make a choice. A hundred percent. And not have that yeah. choice. And I was like, right. I, I love yeah. it. That's, that's what sold me on this world. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I can literally be yeah. here forever. <laughs> because like the biggest thing that a lot of actors like, don't understand is there's <clears throat> four major mm -hmm. techniques on how, what, what kind of acting technique you're going right. to train under. And some work for some, and then some work for others. Mm -hmm. Right? And so when you find that through your journey as an actor, after yeah. you go to like further training, you're going to be able to be strong enough and know that this is how I'm going to approach this role. Yeah. Obviously, there are things that are going to come into play with direction and right, things right. like that, but you, have, you would already know how to alter. A hundred percent, yeah. So I'm glad that you kind of found out and were confident in a way that you mm -hmm. could be like, no, this is how I approach the, the yeah. character. You know, and I think a lot of actors don't, you know, they mm -hmm. all want to be, you know, method actors. Right. I don't know why. But that's like the biggest, most yeah. common thing. All these actors are like, I want to be a method actor. And I'm like, do you even know what that means? Right. Like, I don't even know what that means. Like, I'm just like, okay. It's like, oh my God, I didn't know it was that intense. I'm like, oh my God, never mind. But like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so I, I think that's amazing that, yeah. you know, the way that they're approaching this is mm -hmm. very gentle and, and you know but it, it's gonna yeah. set you up for the New York aggression so 100%. I'm glad you have that foundation yeah so what are your goals like where do you want to end up post school mm -hmm. and yeah I think for me right now I'm just gonna take I'm just gonna go where the wind takes me like mm -hmm. I don't have like a set place like I don't have to go to New York and I don't have to stay in right. Vegas I want right. to keep my options open mm -hmm. so I'm like okay well if TV and film is really good right now then I'm gonna go do TV and film mm -hmm. but I do want to set goals for myself of okay well let's make sure we submit to auditions like yeah. just don't sit around lazy because if you don't work then you know exactly. you have to put the effort in I want to take my singing seriously I want to start yeah. taking my dancing seriously like I'm not a trained dancer I just go to like move I'm like okay maybe I can get the hang of this so like just doing things that make me happy but also help my career mm -hmm. is like what I'm aiming for yeah yeah, yeah that, I, I love that yeah because you're not taking it too seriously but, yeah it's like you, you know, don't laugh at yourself sometimes. it's a new generation <laughs> yeah when I was training trust me it was not that easy so I'm yeah. kind of envious of you but um is there a certain legacy that you're trying to leave behind when you if you do yeah. cultivate your goals mm -hmm. in the future, your future self, future destiny yeah. 10 years from now. Is there a kind of legacy that you want to leave? I just want people to be able to see the light in me or something. Mm -hmm. Like I have a lot of, like some, I do have like RBF sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people before they know me, they're like, wow, you're like really intimidating. I'm like, what? Like, no, like I'm, like when you get to know me and talk right. to me, I'm like so smiley and bubbly and just like open to anything. And I want like, girls who look like me or when I was younger to like, oh my gosh, like mm. she looks like me, like representation yeah. is big and being able to really speak up on things that you believe about. Like some things yeah. like, you know, you just can't sweep some things under the rug. It's like, oh, yeah. if you have a platform, use your voice. Mm -hmm. And I'm really big on that. Like some people might disagree, some people might hate me, but I'm like, hey, if I know I'm doing right and God knows I'm doing right, that I'm doing right, right. so I'm good. But at least you're living a life on your terms. Yeah. You're not doing it because someone told you to. And 100%, I love that. Yeah. Because I think the biggest thing, and I want to applaud you for this, Thank is the you. fact that you're finding this out early on mm -hmm. in your training years, yes, which is still you. now, even though you're 22 and yeah. like you didn't one school and you're going to another, it's just still kind of a very impressionable time 100%. in the industry. And those years, no matter what decade everyone falls under that whole okay well I have to be this because what if I never mm -hmm. get to work again yeah. or like I have to do this because that's just kind of how I have to build reputation right mm -hmm. I don't want to be that one that causes the set to be an uproar yeah you know, everyone's got to stop <laughs> rehearsals on this play and we're gonna open in two weeks yeah, right, right. Like, you don't want to be that person but sometimes you have to mm -hmm. in order for things to change and then it's the gamble of being like, oh, percent kicked out you know, they can replace yeah. me. And then you have to be strong enough to know, okay, if they do, then they do. Yeah. Because, like, I don't, this job is not for me then. Right. I was like, right. it's for me, it'll be for right. me. Right. And so I put yeah. you at this age, Thank 22, you. doing this, because <laughs> when I was 22, it's like it was back in the old school days, right? 
the old school thinking, whereas this is this is equals this. So this yeah. is how it has to be this time, especially in theater. Oh, 100%. So I am very glad that this is kind of, I'm, I'm seeing things revolutionizing. Yeah. I, I, I'm crazy. loving it. I'm seeing it. <laughs> so this last question that I want to ask, I ask all of my guests, and it mm-hmm. kind of sums up their own personality and yeah. why they do what they do. And it's, is there a philosophy that you live by? God. God, I was like, you know what? Yeah, like nothing to me matters. I'm like, Mm -hmm. I pray every day. I'm like, God, if it's for me, it'll happen. If you want this for me, open those doors. I grew up in a Christian household, and Mm -hmm. recently I was like, okay, well, like, why am I a Christian? Like, you know, sometimes we have like those burdens of, oh, well, I just grew up, so I'm just in the church. Yeah. And I'm like, no, like I want to go on my own spiritual spiritual journey. Like I want to know for myself, not just because how I was raised, but I really want to know these answers. And I'm like you know what, like, I found those answers, and I talked to him, I'm like, you know what, if it's for me, nothing can be against me, and I feel like a lot of people see that in me, they're like, Mm -hmm. oh my gosh, like, you're, even, like, your hardest times, you're just so bubbly and down, I'm like, I mean, what am I going to worry about it for, I can't fix things, you know, like, I give it to him, he's, he does it all for me, I just live my life, I'm like, Hey, I don't have gas money right now. Give it to him. I'll have gas money tomorrow. You never right, know, right? It's right, like, so right. I was like, God first. Like, that's mm-hmm. always, that's my number one. I was like, all this can die off. All this can mean nothing to me. And I still have him. And I'm, I'm set. Yeah. Yeah. What I love about hearing those answers is everyone's is different, obviously. But yeah. I always start with a full interview. The viewers get to learn a little yeah. about you. And then you slowly start to show your true personality. Yeah. And that <laughs> one answer alone kind of just showcases your authenticity. Yeah. Right, and I love that because that's the first time I ever heard someone, you know, mention any sort of religious figure or anything outside of like, oh, like, just work hard or like, oh, just you know, yeah, don't take things too seriously. Right, like it's very like cliche, and not that's anything wrong with that because that's bad. But like that's the first time that I really see someone very invested in their faith Mm -hmm. and let that guide them. Yeah, because we're in such a world where we're yeah. like, oh my god, like I want to control everything. Like yeah. if this doesn't work out, I'm like, my life's over, right? Right. But it's hard times. Yeah, out here. I know, but I love it. Like you're sitting Thank here, you. like you're 22, and yeah. you just you kind of have like this bright light. Like yeah. I feel like when you mentioned RBF, I was like, between the two, yeah. Like, I'm like, come on, I didn't get that. Like you came in late. But you know, it's absolutely amazing, and I yeah. think that you're gonna go shoot me for just higher oh, personality you. alone. Thank you. And I hope nothing, even yes. New York, because I know how New York can be, and the industry right? can be, does not dampen that thank shine. You, I you. want you to come back, yeah, and like if I'm still doing this, like yeah. here or somewhere else in like five years. I want you to like be shining more, and I'm like, oh, thank God, like it's like my like little daughter now. Like, right? no, I already know you. Don't do it. <laughs> but that's absolutely amazing. So Thank I you. cannot wait to see what you do. Thank you so um, much. Are you going? Did you make the choice to go to that school? I haven't decided, oh, you haven't decided, decided yet, yet, but I'm I'm just definitely like weighing my options. Yeah. Like it's 100% not cut out. I was like, okay. I, there's something drawing me to New York. I'm like, okay, well, if this is my next path, and I'm going to make it happen. Yeah, yeah. My advice always to people is you'll feel mm-hmm. when you're in a place. Yeah. If you feel you belong there. A hundred percent. Or not. Yeah. You know, I, I would always advise people that would ask me is never go to a place because you think that place mm-hmm. is going to make you. You know, everyone's going to oh, say, yeah. oh yeah, LA and New York are the places you have to yeah. be. Theater and film. But like, if you don't like it there, right. like nothing's going to like happen. Exactly. You know what I'm That's so true. So I love that you just, you're going with the flow. Because mm-hmm. my, my next question was going to be like, when are you starting? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. Yet. <laughs> but for the viewers there, yes. where can they look for you? Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, my Instagram, so it's just Destiny Black. So D E S T I N Y B L A C Q U E. And that's on TikTok and Instagram. And yeah, are you open to probably doing film and like, oh, yeah. open to anyone kind of? Yeah, him, yeah. Out My DMs are open. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. I, I do. I never like unless it's like a scheduling conflict. I never say no to a project because I'm always willing to expand my resume. Mm-hmm. I would rather have experience than right, not. So right, I'm always right. open. I love a hard worker. Yeah, I'm like, well, hey, put me in the background. I don't care. I'll stand there and shake my finger, you know. I know. And I figured out you're a Capricorn. So you're I right. am, yeah. <laughs> I, when I tell people I do research, bro, I mean, no way. <laughs> I am. Yeah, you're sitting there like, oh my God, I got to show you.
Capricorns, they have that superstition. Like, oh, they work so hard. I'm like, I think it's true. But it's good, though. I was like, yeah. You know, it's the Earth's sign. Yeah. Right? You, you got you gotta it. stay solid, you know? You know, hey, it always works out in the end. Right? It does, it does. And, and I'm already so proud of you, and Thank I love you. the energy that you're bringing yeah. here. I now know why you're constantly coming back right? to every single show. <laughs> and I love it because I did watch a little bit of yours yeah. at Dawn. Oh, the little ghost hunting? Yeah. Because yes. that, that, wait a minute, that's another thing I want to yes, say. Yes, that's me. You were tagged in there. It's like a yes. thousand you and two other girls yes. that go out and test the Yeah, we're, we're living the life. I guess. What? Okay, okay. The quick, the <laughs> but like, so what is that about? Like, do you really go to like, on a place, is that like a passion of yours? Like, well, honestly, I met them at, uh, we were all co-workers uh -huh. and we just like bonded and we're like, now we're like tied at the hip. So we all loved watching like scary movies, ghost stuff, ghost adventures. We're always talking right, about right. it. Sam and Colby on YouTube and when Anna, she's like, well, why don't we just do it? I mean, Adriana, like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, huh. why not? So it's, we haven't done it in a while just because we're always like somewhere else, like hence the right. name, like halftime because we just do it halftime. So it's like, we just go to places in Vegas. So like we went to Luxor, Circus Circus, Excalibur, yeah, the Flamingo. Yeah. Yeah, I've had some gnarly experiences. Yeah, what's the, the most, like, shaky oh, experience you've had? I feel like, I don't remember what hotel it was exactly, but um, I had on a jacket. Mm. And because there's a escape room here in Vegas, it's called The Basement. I used to work there. So I had... Oh, dear. Yes, I had, like, the jacket, so it said, like, The Basement on it. And so I'm just wearing it, like, floggy gagging, just messing with the camera. Mm -hmm. And then on Adriana's phone, like, we, like, use those little ghost tube apps just for mm -hmm. fun to see if anything does come through. And it said basement. And I'm, like, in my own little world. Like, I'm not paying attention. And Adriana and Anna are like, basement? What do you mean? There's no basement here. I'm like, huh? The basement? We just walked in here. Like, that doesn't make any sense. And I look down, like, oh, it's talking about me. Oh, I have a jacket no. that says the basement on it. And, like, that entire night, like, we had the dowsing rods. I showed them on the other episode. Like, everywhere I would walk, it would follow me. Oh, no. Yeah. So, sometimes, like, I don't want to, like, spirits or whatever you want to call right. them, they like to get attached. But you do have to be strong. Like, you're not you're not coming set, home with set me. Set the boundary. Yeah. yeah like, you don't know how to do that. Yeah. Yet. Like, I'll be your friend now. But you're going to stay here. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm big on that. That's why I'm also, like, huge on my faith. I'm like, yeah, no, I will yeah, cast exactly. a demon out in five okay, seconds. Hey, should I have brought some salt in this room, Maria? <laughs> right? Like, salt the studio? Because you like to, you know. I know. Like, thankfully, nothing has ever followed me. I'm super, right. super grateful. Have you been to the Zach? I have. I think I've been, like, okay. three or four times. Yeah. My Adriana, she loves that place. I'm like, girl, she wants to go to the basement. Like, you're... Oh, no, I hear things. I hear people who are really pure pass out. Yeah. So, yeah. like, you know. she's very empathetic, so, like, she can uh, feel yeah, the things. So, like, they're, like, attached she, to her. Yeah, like, they hey. like her. Ooh. Me, I'm, like, I don't think they like me very much. No. I'm, like, no, no. Well, that, that, that's the best. Like, I hear experiences where people yeah. who that, like, they love it, but they, like, it doesn't bother them. Yeah. Like, they're just kind of, like, okay, well, I'm stronger. Like, ha, ha, Right, like, I'm and alive. Nothing, they're just, like, okay, whatever. But the yeah. people who are, like, really pure and go, they're, like, oh, my God, I'm so interested. And then they feel mm -hmm. and they see everything. And I'm, like... Ooh. Yeah, they're like, that's not, not for me. me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's not for everyone. I was like, oh, can I go with you? I'm like, no, you can't, because I'm not, if you get possessed, mm -hmm. it's not my fault. Oh, heck no. <laughs> Girl, see, I stay far away. I drive past it, and I'm like, don't look. Don't look. We're staying right here, because I don't even want to end to, like, open a door. Yeah, it's By just... saying, hi. Like, no, we're not going to do that, because I know my brain. I'm going to do it. Right. I'm right. going to look over there, and that's it. You might see something in the corner. It's like, gotta go, gotta go. No. Oh. Anyway, but yes, <laughs> yes, that was a great, like, afterthought, <laughs> yeah. like, joke, we didn't end the interview right there, or, you know, we could talk about ghosts now, but amazing, yes. I love how versatile you are, and Thank I love you. how you're just so, you love doing it, so you're mm -hmm. just going to go in yeah. with your faith and stay happy doing of it, course. you know, no yeah. pressure, I love it, so Thank I would have you. definitely... Here, yes. DM me, girl. <laughs> Let the world know. Come yes. back on my show. But everyone, Destiny Black, yes, please follow you. her. Round of applause. <laughs> make sure to reach out to her. Wish her the best. Watch everything that she does. Support her. Um, I think that she just has a great light about her, but she's also mm -hmm. strong, and she's not going to take no poop from That's anybody. Right. That's and right. we love it. We love a strong woman here, girl. <laughs> All right, and then when we come back, we're going to switch gears over to something more funky, and I cannot wait to introduce you to her. And, yeah, so make sure you don't go anywhere. Refill your drinks. 
Continue your lunge. Don't move out of your seat, even if your butt hurts, because we're not done talking. See you after the break.